Hey there, I just uh, decided to buy a new mower this spring. We had a battery powered electric one that didn't, uh, it worked great, but it didn't uh, work too good when the grass got really, really tall when I was lazy or we had two weeks of rain. Um, so I decided to buy a, a bigger gas powered one instead of a battery powered one this time. And so I did uh, a couple months of research, uh, definitely put in some hours reading a lot of forums and uh, a lot of reviews and uh, talked to some people. And uh, this is the one I decided on. This is the Toro uh, Recycler, the 22 inch. And uh, this comes with the personal pace system. This model number is the uh, 20332 model. Um, basically it has all the features except for the electric start and the blade override system. And the reason I didn't want that is because all of these new mowers uh, with the Briggs and Stratton engines are advertised to start in one to two pulls or your money back. So um, <clears throat> for our small lawn, it doesn't really make a difference that I have to start it two to three times to empty the bag um, in one to two pulls. It should be no problem. And it's just one less thing to go wrong. That was my main reason. Um, it's also worth noting that you won't find in a lot of places or a lot of sites that this model right here, this 20332, weighs 80 pounds and uh, it's a lot easier to maneuver actually in the store. I, I felt and pushed and pulled uh, each of them a few times and it's a little easier to push and pull around and maneuver if you've got a lot of turns and twists and flower beds and things to go around um, than the uh, 20333 or the electric start model. Um, the 20333 is the blade break model um, because it adds about seven or eight pounds of weights of, of weight, so it's about 10% heavier than this one. Um, it wouldn't seem like a big difference, but I did physically notice it, so I figured, what the heck, I'll just get the lighter one, save 50 bucks. Uh, it was 450, and uh, yeah, this is it. I literally just opened it out of the box, uh, cut the top open, and I just cut the side open to drive it out. And all I did was take off the um, all of the bubble wrap and a few of the protective um, coverings. And you can see it comes with a bottle of uh, SAE 30 oil there from Toro. Um, you're supposed to run it five hours, I believe. I haven't read through the manual yet, but I think it's five hours before break-in, or four break-in, sorry, before you switch to uh, um, a synthetic, or you can stick with this 30 weight oil. Um, for me personally, I'm going to run it only about three hours, maybe four hours at the most. Switch it out, um, refill it again uh, with some 30 weight oil, do another two, three hours on it, and then I'll switch to synthetic. Um, it's important in those first couple hour run times, uh, if any of you guys are out there that are engine guys, know that uh, the majority of your break-in happens in those first hour or two on these, on these small engines and uh, you want to get all the shavings and, uh, and all the break-in materials out of the engine as quick as you can. So that's the reason for that. I just picked up a bottle of, uh, let's see here, of John Deere uh, Turf Guard. Um, 1030 oil. It's a slightly lighter weight because it's uh, 10W30 versus a straight 30 weight SAE oil, but it's going to be very, very close. Um, so anyways, I grew up with John Deere um, big farm machinery, so um, yeah, that's why I bought the John Deere oil. Later I'll switch to uh, some synthetic 10W30, probably uh, Mobile One or um, Penzo Platinum or something like that. So yeah, basically out of the box, you just drive it out, you <laughs> fold the handle up, put th these two uh, the handle holders on, you just basically tighten them on and that's all there is to it. The, you can see this one has the wash port here. Hook your hose up at the end of your washing. Start the mower until the water runs clean underneath here and uh, that cleans the, the deck off. Um, this mower has a really, really cool feature. I've never mulched grass before because I've never had a good mulching mower. Um, so that's about to change hopefully. All you do to mulch is push this down and flip it and we're in mulch mode there. Oh, sorry, we're in bagging mode there and uh, this would be in mulch mode. That sets the flap down here and blocks the, the port for the bag. So you can take the bag off to mulch now. And uh, it's got the side discharge chute. You just fold this up. I'll actually show you how easy it is. Just take the side discharge chute um, with one hand. This will be fun. Just gonna set this down here. So you basically just fold this up, set this in, and the pins hold it in. So you literally, it takes two seconds to put on. And to take it off, you can just fold this up and it'll fall off. So that's it. Um, you've got all your wheel adjustment heights here. Um, it looks like there's five positions, front and back. Uh, none of the Toro mowers have a uh, one, 
uh, one lever to set all four wheels. Um, but I actually don't mind this. I don't change the height a lot. I do once in a while. But with those individual wheels, you can allow it to set the back one notch higher than the front. A lot of people say that it uh, provides better mulching. I believe it's higher on the back and not on the front um, for better mulching, but I'm going to try that. I haven't run this up yet. I haven't even put the oil in it yet. So other than that, um, yeah, it's got the uh, 7 foot-pound um, 190cc Briggs & Stratton engine in it, um, which should have lots of torque. And there's an underneath the deck, if you're wondering. Um, a lot of, I read a couple of reviews where people said there were scratches from assembly. I wiped them off already, but there's basically white, little white lines here. It looks like they hit it with a screwdriver. It's uh, not scratched. They use chalk for their uh, Q&A to make sure that they tighten each and every bolt. So there's a white line of chalk beside every major bolt. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's uh, basically ready to go. I'll uh, show you from the underside here if I can that flap coming down when you put it in mulch mode. Push the button. So there it's in bagging mode. You can see the bag there. And we're in mulch mode like that. So very easy to use. Very user friendly. Um, it's more apparently weighs 80 pounds. Uh, I haven't uh, weighed it yet to see. But uh, the bag to get on and off, like most of you probably know from researching this more, but you just flip this and lift this off. A little hard with one hand to do this, but that's all you do. Um, so it's easy to do. The personal pay system is awesome. I read a lot of reviews and talked to a lot of dealers to see what their opinion of the personal pay system was and all of them said it's the best one they've ever used and the cus their customers say that as well. Um, so basically all you do is you grab the, the safety and just pull it in there like you would with any mower nowadays and the faster you walk or the harder you push on this the faster the mower will drive itself. Um, it's also got a solid bar here, so if you wanted to push it manually or wanted to need to pull it back hard from around um, a corner or flower bed, you could with that handle there. But uh, it makes it quite easy, simple. Um, pull starts right here, and uh, yeah, there's cable adjustment and stuff as well over here. Uh, I'm just going to double check it all, and make sure that the proper tension. But uh, other than that, that's, that's the Toro 20332 more. Um, I'm going to go the extra mile. Some people laugh at this. But I want to try it. I'm going to try waxing with a high quality uh, wax on the bottom of the deck that you'd use for uh, car paint. Uh, just so that makes it really slippery. And I bet you that grass will wipe right off of there. Like Especially using that wash port. I bet you it'll just fall off. And it should help the deck uh, maintain its cleanliness and, and not wear any of the paint or anything. Um, I'm just going to do that more as an experiment, not that I care that much about it. I just want to try it and see what it does. Um, that's all I can think of for now. So if you're looking for a mower, I recommend this after all the research I've done and, and things like that, people I've talked to. So it looks like a great model. I've been more than impressed and especially the user friendliness. If it starts in one to two pulls, like everybody says, it should be uh, no gong shows whatsoever. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Hey, I just want to show you guys something. I'm just going through this more just to see um, how well it's built and uh, just a few more things about it. Um, I've never found any of this stuff online, but I'm just doing it out of interest. Sake. I took uh, one of the rear wheels off. I was just going to lubricate the wheels, um, the wheel bushings, uh, just with some grease, just so they last longer and don't develop slop. Um, most people aren't going to be this anal, so don't worry, you know, reading this, but I just want to show you at interest. Sake. The gear spline in here you can see on the rear wheel. Uh, that's where the uh, personal pay system um, applies its uh, driving pressure to on the hub and same with on the other wheel. But you'll notice something interesting there. You see it's completely dry. There is uh, there is no grease whatsoever. It's completely dry. This is plastic. It's a hardened plastic. Um, but yeah, it's, it's dry which was uh, quite interesting to me. Um, should never cause an issue. But uh, as anybody that knows anything about uh, um, me not mechanics, but uh, just de general uh, wear and tear on, on gears and any materials that rub together. Uh, grease or oil prevents the wear and tear. So I threw a little bit of uh, heavy duty wheel bearing grease on the main spline here. Um, it was dry as well. Uh, I just used some Canadian Tire heavy duty wheel bearing grease. Uh, really any multi-purpose grease should work fine. Uh, you need to be careful what kind of grease you use um, that it won't uh, 
attack certain types of plastic. Um, this shouldn't be an issue. This wheel bearing grease uh, I've used on lots of different applications. Never had an issue with anything. So, um, but anyways, I just wanted to show people that out of interest sake um, that I thought it was interesting that it was uh, dry. Thanks a lot. Well, this is the new Toro 20332 in action. Uh, I've been running about five minutes. Filled her up with oil, started on the very first pull. Uh, smoked a little bit because there was a lot of oil in the carb and the air filter from packing. So you can see it works great. She's being uh, super slow with it. I was going like full tilt with it. Mow's awesome. The grass is uh, not very long. It's the first mow of the season. So uh, I still got some work to do. I wanted to overseed it and I've raked it already. But the mower, I love it. It's, it's awesome. I'm cutting it on the second lowest notch right now and we're mulching it. And I've never had a mulching mower, but you can't even see like any grass clippings. It mulches them right up. So, yeah, it looks good. Up in the far north here, we get a little bit of uh, winter burn from winter. Uh, it gets, it was minus 40 for a little while here in Calgary, Alberta. So, you get a little bit of uh, dead grass, but I'll overseed that in a week or so. And uh, first mow of the year, it looks, seems to work good. How do you like it? It's good. It's easy to pull backwards even though it's auto driver out of the The personal face? That's good. Yeah. Say bye. Bye. Alright, we're going to try out the new washout port after the first mowing. Works awesome. I couldn't be more impressed with the mower. So let's try her out here. Hook her up. I didn't even read the manual yet, but I believe you just start it until it runs clean. Um, we're not going to be able to see. I'm just going to quickly lift the wheels all the way up so we can just see for the video. And then we'll know how, how it does. Awesome mower though. I'm seriously impressed. Spread the water. Start the mower. But it was, uh, it wasn't overly dirty, um, but it definitely was dirty, so. I waxed the deck too, I don't know if it'll make a difference. But let's take a look and see. Oh, it's wet on the ground. Oh yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty loose. There's a little bit left, but it's all, it's loose though. Like it's not stuck. Not kidding. So can you see it under there? So pretty good job. It's clean all up in here. There's a little bit stuck here. I may... I didn't read in the manual, but they may want you to open the mulch port because that would open up that area and clean all of that out. So um, it does a good job, but you can definitely see it's loose. So it's uh, maybe run it for a few more minutes to clean it out. But yeah, awesome. I'm pumped. It's an awesome mower. <laughs> I just wanted to show you can definitely see what it washed out of the deck. Uh, you can see the, the nice ring it made there. So yeah, that wash port works pretty well.